Welcome back to Skibbity Tech. In today's video, I will show you how to route your Samsung Galaxy S10 series without downloading the full firmware. As you can see, I am using Samsung Galaxy S10 plus running on Android 12 on it. I will show you step by step how did I route this Galaxy S10 Plus. As you can see after opening the Root Check app, it's verifying that my S10 Plus is rooted. Okay, so how I did that. Let's start it. First thing you need to go to Settings and enable Developer Options. Simply go to Settings, then go to About Phone. Then open Software Information, then you will see Build Number, then click on it. Six times then, it will enable the Developer Options in your Settings. Now you will see Developer Options in your Settings at the bottom. Just open it. In Developer Options, you will see an option OEM Unlocking. Just enable that option. If you don't find OEM Unlocking option you Settings, then make sure your software is updated. Now we are going to unlock Bootloader on S10+. Plus. Turn off the phone and hold Bixby Plus volume down and plug in device to PC to boot into download mode. When you are in download mode, simple long press volume up to unlock the bootloader. Again, just press the volume up to continue unlock bootloader. After unlocking bootloader when the phone starting to boot, just keep holding the Bixby and volume down button to put the phone back in to download mode. Press volume up button, then your phone will be in download mode. Now we need to download files to root Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. I will put the download link in the description. After downloading the software, then open the folder. Then open ODIN software. In Odin, just make sure an option setting. Just uncheck the auto reboot. Now connect the phone to the computer and open AP file. And then open downloaded files folder and open recovery folder, then choose the phone you have. In my case, it's S10 Plus, so I am going to open the S10 Plus folder. Then select TWRP file and hit open. Then just hit the start button. Once you see the pass on the Odin screen, it means our TWRP is installed successfully. Now hold Bixby key plus volume down, plus power key together to reboot the phone. Once the phone go off, leave the volume down key and start holding the volume up, plus Bixby plus power button together to put the phone into recovery mode. Once you see the Samsung logo, leave the power key but keep holding the volume up plus Bixby until you see the recovery menu. Sometimes it will reboot again. So you have to do exact same hold volume up plus power key plus Bixby together. And when Samsung logo appears, then leave power key and keep holding other both keys to put the phone into recovery menu. Now as you can see our TWRP is also installed successfully. Now with this we will install our root files on our Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. But before that we need to wipe the phone. Just swipe to do unlock and then choose the option wipe.
Then hit on Format Data and type Yes to confirm and hit OK. Once format completed, then go back to TWRP main menu. And then hit Reboot and choose Recovery to boot the phone into Recovery. Once the phone reboot back to TRWP menu. Now we need to install two more files via TWRP. Connect the phone back to the computer and, and open the download folder. Then open the kernel folder, then open parch folder. Then choose your phone folder, then select the disk image, just copy. And then paste it back to Samsung S10 Plus phone folder. Second time go back again to the download file folder. Then open Extra Folder, then open multi disabler Folder, then copy multi disabler Samsung ZIP file. And copy it and paste it back to Samsung S10 Plus folder. Now go to the phone and swipe to go to TWRP menu. Then hit Install Folder and select multi disabler Samsung file. And then just swipe to install multi disabler Samsung. Once done, then go back, then select Install Image. Then choose the Samsung S10 Plus image, then choose the boot option. And then swipe to install the image. Once the image flashed completed, then just go back to the TWRP main menu and select Reboot option and choose the Download option. Then the phone will be rebooted into Download mode. Now connect the phone back to the computer and open Odin again. Now open AP file and then go to Downloaded File folder, then open Extra folder. Then open Parcheer Logo folder. Then choose the Samsung Phone folder, then select the Samsung Phone zip file and hit OK. Then hit Start to flash it via Odin. This time just make sure an Odin Options Auto Reboot is enabled. Now you will see the phone will reboot. Just simply set it up and connect with Wi-Fi and see if you can find Megiscap in the phone. If you don't see it, just simply reboot your phone. As you can see after reboot, it's showing Megiscap on the phone. Just open the app and hit accept it, then it will download and install the latest Magisk app in the phone. Now open the Magisk app again and hit again accept. Now it will reboot your phone. Once the phone reboot, it will boot into the recovery menu again. Just simply swipe to open the TWRP menu and hit on Reboot, and then choose the system, that's it. The phone will be rebooted normally. Now after reboot, you can go to Magisk app and open it. You will it's working properly without any error. You can install different modules via Magisk app. As you can see, I have installed few as well on my Samsung S10+. Plus. I will upload more videos soon on it, how to install modules via Magisk app. Now I am going to check again via Root Checker app. Just to show you guys that the phone is rooted and working properly without any error. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.